Hi, Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming in for you for the next 24 to 48 hours. The message here is going to be general, so it may not resonate with everyone. Keep that in mind. If you are after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Let's go ahead and let's begin the reading. There's a little chaotic energy here in the reading. I feel like there are different energies involved here. And there's also, um, I feel like your priorities are going to be taking a big shift in the next 24 to 48 hours. Okay, they're going to undergo huge shifts. I'm also seeing that there is some revolutionizing communication that is going to take place um, between now and then. Okay, so um, you could receive like long awaited news. Okay, or you could receive some long awaited communication from a connecting energy or even like a surprising message is coming in for you. Um, I feel like the energies are certainly in impacting you and how you're, you know, what you're thinking, what you, how you're feeling and more importantly, how you're expressing yourself. So I feel like there's some major stuff that's happening here. Um, I feel like there's things are shifting for you here and I feel like. There's some sort of curveball that is being thrown your way. And I feel like there's also some sort of curveball news that is coming in for you guys. Okay, something really game changing, something really big. I feel like you'll be glad, you'll be glad to hear from this person or you'll be glad to hear about this person or you'll be glad. Whatever the news is, I feel like um, you're definitely glad to hear from someone or you're definitely glad to hear um, to have contact communication with this person. I feel like there's been power struggles in a relationship or there's been p power struggles between you and a connecting energy. It does not have to be romantic, okay? It could be between you and a romantic energy. It could be between you and a friend or a connecting energy of some sort. But I feel like there's some power struggles that have disrupted a relationship or have disrupted a connection here. And um, I feel like if there has been any drama with a certain individual, I feel like the drama is... You know, it's starting to go down, okay? It's starting to simmer down. If there's been any uh, conflict or any drama between you and a person, I feel like you're pulling yourself out from something, okay? So you're pulling yourself out of uh, like a drama-filled situation or you're pulling yourself out from a situationship or a relationship that does not feel fulfilling, does not feel comfortable, doesn't feel healthy, doesn't feel right, Um and I'm also seeing a, you're reconnecting here with a different side of yourself. The side of yourself that, you know, wants to speak up and wants to wants to draw boundaries, okay? The side that is comfortable with saying no, okay? Um, because that is what you mean. So I definitely feel like, yeah, you're reconnecting with that side of yourself. And I'm also seeing that you're following some sort of curiosity. There's some sort of natural curiosity Um about someone or about something so say for example if you're if you've been wanting to start something if you've been romantically interested in someone you could potentially be making the first move or someone here remember how i said there's some sort of surprising news that could be coming in for you someone here might be connecting with you and i feel like you know you're definitely curious about this person you're definitely curious about what this could be and so you're following that natural curiosity of yours whereas before maybe you might have been a little bit shy or maybe you might have felt like you know um i don't know maybe not not brave enough to to make any moves but now I feel like yeah you're, you're letting out there's like a playfulness to your energy and you're definitely let, letting out that playful side okay you're letting that playful side come out to play um I feel like it's a bit of an intense time for you these next 24 to 48 hours I just feel like there's there's some things here that are happening for you um 
And I feel like there's a little bit of distractions as well. Okay, I feel like there's a fair few things that are going on for you. Um, like, for example, the, the, um, the weekend here for you could start out as, like, very intense. Okay, and there's a lot of different energies at play here. Um, I feel like you're grappling with something that feels very confusing and confounding to you. Um, and I feel like there's something here that feels complex, confusing. You could be, I feel like there's some, you might be reaching out to someone for advice, okay? For advice, for support. Um, maybe you just want someone like a listening E. But I feel like there's something here that is confusing you, something that feels very complex, confounding, very per perplex. And so, yeah, I just feel like um, there's, you're reaching out for support. It feels like a close friend. It could be a counselor, could be a therapist, could be, um, you know, so a really close connecting energy. But I feel like someone here is going to give you some advice that I think is going to be um, really eye opening about a room, and it feels like it's about a romantic situation, okay? Um, make sure, I feel like you're. There's some sort of meltdown that you could be experiencing over these next 24 to 48 hours, but I do think it has something to do with this drama, okay? There's some sort of drama that is happening. Um, it, I feel like it's around you, but I do feel like somehow you're going to either get dragged into it or somehow it has something to do with you. Um, but make sure, you know, before... It could, there's something here that's erupting, especially with the Five of Wands energy. So there could be someone who is um, like a jealous person around you okay someone who is currently jealous of you jealous of what you have to offer or jealous of your situation i don't know it just feels like there's some sort of simmering rivalry between you and a connecting energy or even a few energy a few connecting energies here um, make sure you step away from this drama before it reaches like a meltdown okay so and i think and i, I do see you removing yourself from a situation i feel like your best bet is to stay out of this okay um you know the jealousy that this person has towards you it's really about them okay it's really about their inadequacies their insecurities so um you know make sure you don't sort of get caught up in this um because any attempt for you to step in and try to mediate or any attempt for you to try to try and work things out is only going to backfire okay so let the let the drama queen settle their own issues okay guys um what else Okay, for some of you, I feel like these next 24 to 48 hours, think very carefully about crossing the line, okay? Think very carefully before crossing that line. Some of you, you know exactly what that means, okay? And if you don't, then maybe this message is not for you. But boundaries, okay? Now, I don't know if this is someone who's going to cross that line, someone close to you, but I feel like... For a lot of you, I think it's you. You're the one that, you know, is wanting to cross a line. And just, there's some sort of tension here between you and a connecting energy. But think long and hard before you cross that line. Think very carefully here. Um, I'm also seeing that, well, something to do with this. There's some sort of low-key um, conflict. Like it's a low-vibe conflict. Okay, um, again, stay out of this as well. And that's just a, a bit of a warning. I feel like there's a there's potentially a someone that you're connected to. And it kind of feels like it's a bit of a slow burn energy. So either you've, you know, maybe you've just only recently met this person. Or you've, this is someone you know, but things have been a little bit slow. But I feel like this is something that could turn, like, a romance could turn sizzling in the next I'm not saying it's gonna happen in the next 24 to 48 hours or it could for some of you okay it very well could you know something that started off as a slow burn could start sizzling up okay for others it's gonna take a little bit longer than the 48 hour period but you know this this is a mind-body connection from what I'm picking up and I think this is something that could turn into a full romance um, possibly even by the end of the year
for some this is a connection uh, this is like a business from what i'm seeing this is a business um you've ignited this connection with someone it's like a business spark but it's going but it's igniting okay it's igniting into something passionate Uh, some of you have to dig deep to do some inner work okay so you could remove some blockages there's something here that is getting in the way for you and I feel like you have to dig deep here so you can remove some of those blockages I feel like your perspective is widening and I, I, I'm seeing that there is shifts that is taking place in your energies okay so um, I don't know if suddenly you're going to get a bigger picture or suddenly a bigger picture of the person, you know, of the situation that you're in or, you know, someone here is showing you who they are and for the first time in a long time, guys, I feel like you're really starting to believe that. But I feel like there's some sort of, I don't know, it's happening within you. It's a shift that is taking place in your energy and I don't know if this is because you've been through a lot, you've had a lot of painful experiences or you've been through just a lot these last couple of months and there's been some really deep re reflection that's been going on with your energy and I think this deep reflection is opening you up to like a, a more refreshing take like a different lease on life or a more refreshing angle refreshing sorry angle on your relationship or in your situation or just like a wider angle view of the world or of your relationship or you know the situation that you're in you have to think big right now okay i feel like the actions that you take right now are probably less important than your mindset so remember how i said you you have to dig deep to remove some of the blockages well you some of those blockages actually a lot of those blockages are mental and right now you know some of you, I feel like you're really pumped, okay, you're really pumped up, you're really excited to explore new territory, or there's like a entrepreneurial side to your energy right now, and you're really excited to get uh, something going, to get something started. But remember, the actions that you take, especially right now in the energies, they're far less important than your mindset, okay, um, how you see the situation. Um, yeah, how you see the situation... There's a green light here. Something is coming in faster than you expected. And I feel like there's a green light from the universe um, here, guys. And I'm also seeing that your communication is igniting. So I don't know if that's because sparks are flying between you and a connecting energy here. And, you know, it has something to do with this sudden news or this sudden communication that is coming in. Um, there's some sort of correspondence that comes in and it reaches an exciting turning point. So someone may finally open up and reveal to you their feelings. Um, you know, a crush that you've been crushing on is finally going to make a move or at least drop a hint, a not so subtle hint that they're really into you. Um, or some sort of news that you've been waiting on is finally, you know, it, it's coming in. There's also some sort of ID that maybe has been percolating and um that idea is coming to fruition but something is coming in and it's a lot faster than you expected and it feels really exciting i feel like the energies feel a little bit chaotic because i just feel like there's a lot that's happening and there's a lot that's going on here i feel like you've been finding your voice that's what it feels like I feel like when it comes to people and when it comes to boundaries, um, and you know, whether this, these are romantic connections, relationships, friendships, just connecting energies, uh, business partners, I feel like you're finding your voice and you're speaking your truth. And I think the next 24 to 40, 48 hours, I feel like there's a truth here that you're not holding back on or you're clarifying some sort of message, okay? So there's something here that you've said and someone has misunderstood maybe and you're reinterpreting that message for this person or you're clarifying this message. There's an outspoken energy about you, okay? Um, truth serum, okay? You're, the thing is, I feel like there's truth. 
um, there's a can of truth serum that you're going to be opening up this weekend and when you do here when you do guys open up this truth serum you'll you'll find out that there's a lot more than you expected so you know it could have something to do with this com communication because i do feel like there's a shift in energies taking place okay so you know once you get this going um the person that you're engaging with the person that you're interacting with is also reciprocating okay that energy you're talking something out there's an opening okay and communication is very big this weekend there's an opening for you to talk something out between you and a connecting energy so get things out in the open you know be assertive with your communication clarify what it is you meant you know re reinstate what it is you said i don't know but there's something for you to there's an opening for you to talk it out and find a solution or find some sort of compromise or find a middle ground you know find something that's going to make uh to make things work um I'm seeing that there's minds that are coming together, okay? But at the same time, you know, the meeting of the minds quickly turns into, like, um, a meeting of the hearts as well, okay? So something here is coming together very beautifully. I feel like, you know, I feel like there's some lingering tension. I do. I feel like there's some lingering tension between you and someone in the energies. And it's kind of lingering. And I think the next 24 to 48 hours is going to provide an opening for you to, you know, discuss this tension. I don't think it's, I don't think you're going to solve things with this person. Not right away. I think it's going to continue to linger on for a little bit longer. I do. But I feel like there's some sort of lingering tension for you to clear, um, and, it's it, to me it feels like it brings a balance back to this dynamic okay to this relationship or to this connection to this dynamic that you have with your bond and this person if that makes sense i feel like there's a lot of energies there's like um a concoction of energies that are happening here i feel like this I don't know it, it feels like emotions are really intense okay and it's not just yours but it's people that you're connecting with as well so i don't know if you're picking up other people's emotions because you're you know you're a water sign you guys tend to be absorbent that way or i don't know if this is because you know someone is feeding off your energy here but to me it just feels like the emotions are running all over like they're rampant running all over the place and it feels quite intense and i feel like you're running like a a range of emotions from jealousy obsessiveness to you know to passionate to to fears it's just like to confusion then it's just there's a lot that's happening here in the energies i feel like there's some sort of amorous adventure that awaits you guys okay i'm not saying that this is going to take place in the 20 next 24 to 48 hours but if you are linking up with anyone you know if you talk or communicate with anyone over this period i feel like there's uh, quite an amorous adventure between you and this energy all right guys and i'm going to leave it at that thanks for watching and listening please show your support to the channel by liking and subscribing bye for now